Today's adventure sees me and Jerry attempting two less well-known hills, but covering some pretty rugged territory. Ben Lomans well, looking fine, isn't it? Coming out, isn't it? Maybe yeah. work. <laughs> Not much snow on it though. Yeah. Ah, sun's coming out over the uh, hill there. Crook, ah, crook yeah, Terbit. The first time in a while, Crook Terbit, favourite of ours. Been there before, <laughs> haven't I? So. Hello folks. Right, we are in Argyle. Argyle, yeah. And we stopped here because just over there is the railway station. At Arica railway station and literally two days ago this legend, this is Jerry, came to rescue <laughs> myself and uh, Ray from the West Highland Way. Rescued from the West Highland Way, you've never, I mean, the indignity, <laughs> the indignity of it. I know, I just can't hack it anymore. I'm getting old, Jerry. Ah, well, I'm getting old. The West Highland Way is not for everybody. No, it's stick a... to the ice climbing. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. So, anyway, we've come back. The weather's a bit nicer today, isn't it? It's quite Lovely. pleasant. I think this is the best day of the week, actually. Uh, I think it's kind of on the slide a bit tomorrow, but and it's been horrible at the beginning of the week. But hey ho, we're out. We're out. And um, we're going to go to a hill that I've never been up, Jerry, one of Jerry's local Back gardens. Back, Back gardens. So yeah. we'll reveal all a bit further along the path, but there's some great views which yeah. we'll hopefully share with you. So Good. Let's, let's go. Get going. Get yeah, some. let's do it. There's a slightest of breezes there. Oh no. I can't believe there's some beasties. Yeah. I think the mist sort of rolling about as well. Yeah, I think we'll get above that. Yeah. Use down Loch Lomond. Be good. Okay, so we are now starting to climb the hill, but the view behind us isn't too bad, is it, Jerry? It's fantastic, isn't it? These hills, uh, they don't get much attention from this direction, and uh, they're pathless, that's okay. You get as much of a workout in this as you do in many Munros, I think. Yeah. yeah, so that's the first clue, it's not a Munro we're going up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that is a Munro behind us, with the snow in it, which looks rather fabulous. Uh, uh, yep, it's a lower part of it anyway. Yeah, it's lovely. And so we'll spin you around and show where we're going. Jerry, do you want to just uh, tell them, I'm pointing towards the first hill we're going, which is just... Remember, you can this just see the snow at the top of that ridge. And I think we're going to handrail this burn. Uh, go up the go up the true left bank for for those mm. viewers who who like these things the true left bank of that burn <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and uh, then we'll we'll let you see that it's a kind of somewhat plateau but uh, it's an excellent viewpoint because one of the clues is there's a lovely loch down there. What are you doing yonder? And that's the second one there, Jerry, isn't it? Up. That's the second hill. Yeah. Uh, is in the cloud up there, a wee bit higher. Again, we bit of snow on it, mm. and we'll drop down to this Bialik, and then pull back up that slope. Up there, that's the second one. So, and when yeah. we get to the top of this first one, you might see another loch. So we've still got a wee bit to go. Aye. Um, but yeah, it's we're taking our time. There's not a drop of wind. The fact there's beasties out. We're in December. Aye, there's beasties in December. Shocking. I'm going to write to somebody. Yeah, I think one of the locals it's, should do something about it's it. It's an outrage. <laughs> Listen, I do my bit. <laughs> right. We'll report back later on. Let's go. So up we headed up pathless ground and it was pretty tough going. Almost there. But before long, we were reaching the summit of the first hill. Wow. A nice view down Loch. Long, yeah. Lovely. Let's be the top. Right, buddy. The magnificent summit cone. Well done. Well done. That was good fun, wasn't it? Right. Aye. Take our bags off, have a wee rest here and then. I think we'll have some... Uh, Scran. Yeah. Right, we've just had a wee bite to eat. That's quite a nice viewpoint here, isn't it? It is. Um, so you've got a loch there, loch there. <laughs> uh, Seeing the clouds say, can I just come in for us getting to the summit? Are you going to tell them where we are? Or? Oh god, yeah, but um, well you go for it. It's Brute, is it Ben Tullock? Tullock Hills. Tullock Hills. Tullock Hills. Tullock Hills. There you go, see so it. Don't Tull even know where I am. Tullock Hills, so <laughs> looking, we're looking to the southwest, we're looking down Loch Long. Um, and south and east to the southern end of Loch Lomond, Loch Lomond with the there, islands. Yeah. And where we go next is over my left shoulder to your right, you'll probably just yeah. see it. Ben Rioch. Um, so I think people have asked Murray in the past what he does for navigation and stuff, and I think it's... A full jerry. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he gets lost so much. <laughs> but in fairness, um, there's lots of things, isn't there? GPS and great yeah. phone apps and stuff, but always have a map and compass. And this featureless land here, uh, it's worth taking a bearing because there's no path, it's tussocky, the clouds coming and going, it's quite featureless and even if you're just a few degrees off you can end up having given a big yomp over the bog. Or end up in some serious ground. So we're just taking a bearing and 
It's saying... It's funnily enough, it's that way. Zero five, zero five zero. <laughs> the big hill that we're going up is pointing and that it's way, isn't it? pointing right at it, zero five zero <laughs> degrees. They always tell people if you're learning how to use a map and compass, do it in days where you can see where you're going. Because <laughs> yeah. then, then, once you're used to it, you, in, in the manky days, you trust it. But hey ho, right, so we it's quite that cold. Beer, it? So we'll, we'll yeah. walk zero five zero and see if we get there. Yeah, it was quite sweaty coming up. It was, um, but now there's a slight breeze up here and it is cold. It's, um, cold yeah. it's amazing what a wee breeze can do. But um, anyway, shall we build some body heat up and we'll head over okay. to Ben Rio? Right. Put this map away and then. I'll... Yeah, we'll report back in a wee while. There's Ben Rio. Where we're heading. It's quite a big drop, isn't it, Jerry? Down to the beer lah. It was down to the Bealach, which was a drop of just under 300 metres. As we headed down, we spotted this pair of golden eagles. What a magnificent sight. Absolutely fabulous. Flying right over us, putting on a grand show. Anyway, after watching them, we started to head up the other side, which was about an ascent of just over tough. 300 metres. Work. It was tough going. No path. But the views and the sun. The sun is now and the views aren't too bad. Look at that. Jerry's wondering if I'm speaking to him. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to camera. <laughs> yeah. Leading the way. Woo! If it was Jerry, you'd pipe your steep route. Yeah. Nearly the top now. And look, the Arakan Alps have come out of the cloud. Look at that. Fantastic. Not long to go now. I think we've timed this almost perfectly. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. There's the top. Whew. There is the top of the Whoa. second summit. Ah, oh. well, if you just come over here a bit, because you can see probably between me and Jerry. What's that? A mighty Ben Lomond. Ben Lomond. The Beacon Mountain. Fantastic. I tell you what, that was. Uh, that was sweaty. Going that was there, a, a hard pull up. I was nearly putting my gloves on at the start, and then halfway up the pool, I was nearly stripping off. With heat. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, we always say this, don't we? But the, the benefits of a path are are massive. Yes. There's no path. Yes. There's no path. It's all big daddy steps <laughs> on the tussocks. <laughs> big steep, slidey but slopes. We've arrived in time for the cobbler to be out and. Everything's and out. So. And Croy. So we have a wee seat here there. Well, we can do a three sixty in a minute, food, and then we'll do a. Yeah. A tour of the what you can see from here. Beautiful. Fantastic. Wow. What a place. Right. Well, Jerry's gonna do his 360 from the summit of Ben Rioch. So this is Ben Rioch. What's the height of this? About six hundred and six fifty, something like that. So we're we're on top of Ben Rioch. We might as well look to the east and pick out the most obvious feature, Ben Lomond. You can't actually make out Tarmigan because it just blends with the hill at this side. That's Ben Lomond, and if you move to the south, you can. Act, I don't know, you'll not be able to see it, but you can actually make out uh, wind farms on the top of uh, the campses uh, or the Tush Hills, Tush Hills at Strone End. And coming further round, there's some cloud hugging the valley, and we've got Conic Hill in the foreground just above the loch, and in the distance, there are the Campsie Hills, oh, yeah. with the Corrie of Glass, the northern Corries of the Campsies. And again, with the Eye of Faith, if you just look to the right of that, you can make out Dumgoyne just blending with the hill. Then we look straight down the bottom of the loch, looking down the Blaine Valley, and we come to the right of that, you see a large mound, and that's the Kilpatrick's, Ockaneden Hill. And then coming across in the immediate foreground is Ben Brich, and it looks as if there's someone on the top of Ben Brich. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. No. And that's above Glen Douglas. And then coming sort of due south, we've got the Luss Hills, Dune Hill, 
mid-hill, Ben Rusk and things like that, but you can't really see them. It's quite yeah, it's a nice mist effect it, on them. Mm -hmm. And then in the sort of uh, seven o'clock, uh, if we imagine Ben Lomond is 12, what we're at, we're at five o'clock position is uh, Tullock Hill that we just came over. And then in the trench over there to the west is Loch Long. Yeah. The boat lock. Down there somewhere. And so the hills above Loch Long from south to north, you can just make out a hill called Bend Reef, the wee rounded bump. And then to the right of that is the recently promoted Corbett, which is covered in cloud at the moment. Uh, not Koenig. Yeah. Rude the ones that we can see now. Now we can see a lovely summit of the Brack just poking out above the cloud. Yeah. And uh, beyond that is Ben Donich. And then we're looking up Glen Crow. And unfortunately, a wee favourite of mine, Ben and Lockheen, is hiding in the, under the cloud just now. Look at that one in front of it. Now there's this jaggy one here, which you'll all know. And you can actually see the cobbler himself in the middle, the mid-peak, sticking out from the cloud. And as we come past the cobbler, we're on to the, the Ben Narnane, its flat summit. And we're looking kind of end on to the spearhead buttress. And you follow the ridge from Narnane north and you come to Acroy, round the head of uh, Corrie Sugarth buttress and on to Acroy. And just beyond Acroy, before the summit, is the flat top summit of Ben Vane, which means Middle Hill, I believe. And then to the right of that is a snow-covered hill, and I think that's the southern slopes of Ben Louis. Uh, and then in, in the foreground to the right of that is Ben Vorlich. And then if we come round and we're looking straight up now, we're kind of in the 12 o'clock position, we're looking end on at the, the hills above Tindrum. Um, and then swinging across from that will be going past Ben, ben Callum. And then to the Corbett at the top of the loch, you can see, I don't know if you can see down there, just beyond my poles is Inversnaid. And above that, you've got, uh, what was the name of that Corbett again we did? Oh, I can't kayak. Yeah. Shame on you, I can't remember now. The Corbett above Inversnaid. Uh, it, was a, it was a bit of a slog anyway. But, um, and just beyond that, just coming out of the cloud now, I think is Stob and Lochane leading to Stabinion, I think. Oh, yeah. I think that's what that is. And then back round and to then the back start. Round, there's something white in the distance, which is probably the lawyer's range. And then we're back where we started. Sure. Thank you very much. So that's Jerry's. So there you go. 360. Um, Take a bow, sir. <laughs> 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 right. Right, time to skedaddle down the hill. Right, let's go. Whoa. That's a bit slippy, isn't it? God, it's flat calm, isn't it? It's like a mirror. Almost looks like they're low heads there. Coming out now. Oh, yeah. Almost don't want to leave the summit. It's chill when that sun goes away. Yep, right, time to head down. So the sun was starting to lower, <laughs> and we really didn't want to leave the summit, but yeah, we had to head down before it got dark. And the views on the way down were rather special, too. It was a fabulous, fabulous day to be on the hill. Ah, right, we've got a wee last bit to camera here, Jerry. Yep. I think um, it's been a really fantastic day, just... I, I don't know, I was kind of thinking, it, we're, not, we're not far from civilization, but doing something like this where you're off, off the paths and you, you feel remote, don't you? It, it, there's a big rugged area of land and as you say, there's no paths. The other thing you've got to check is that all the hills are really poly, so see if you go down the wrong glen, you've got a long walk back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's uh, steep, steep sided slopes as well, we've had to pick our way down, so if you're not, if you're not used to steep, slidey, slippery, grassy slopes, yeah. And, and finding your way through crags, because we had to do that as well, didn't yeah. we? Yeah, uh, it's, it's a nice rugged countryside, but it's good though. Yeah. Also, I think what you were saying as well, definitely one to keep for the winter, because lower down the bracken, 
and the ferns. Yeah, in summer you're just going to be a tick collector of the wrong kind. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. But, but anyway, look at that behind us, isn't that just a lovely way to finish off? Darker Alps, baxed in the last of the sunshine. Golden hour. Golden hour, so. Golden hour. You know what I'm going to say now, you love this bit. Stay classy. Tarbit. Arica. Tarbit and Arica. <laughs> Stay classy, sucker. Yeah, yeah. Stay safe out there. We'll see you on the next adventure. Right, let's hey. go. <laughs>